Hello there, I'm Artistic Gamer 7 and I'm back with another vlog. And um, in this one, I don't have too much to say. Of course, I said that in the last one and I ended up gibbering on away. But anyway, um, one of the things is that I may, I'm still aiming for to put out two videos a day. Shh. <laughs> Um, that was my phone that is sitting in my lap. I always forget to turn it to silent. Heh, <laughs> Anyway, um, I, like I say, I'm still aiming for two videos a day, but like earlier this week I only had like one a day, which that was just because I tend to push things back as far as possible before doing anything. And I had so many things to do, and some of them I had to do before making some more videos. And eventually I got to making more videos, but I didn't have enough to be able to put out two a day. So I had to go down to one. But it may start happening a little bit more often. I got a new job, and then I also have school coming up. So I have two online classes and one that I actually have to physically go to. So they shouldn't take up too much of my time, but there's still chances that I won't get to edit or record so much. So my videos may go down to one a day, but I'm definitely going to make sure I have one a day. So there will definitely be at least one video. Hopefully two. Still aiming for that. And I would also like to say, even though I still don't have many subscribers, the fact that I'm up to 19 last time I checked, so makes me very very happy so I'd like to thank everyone who has subscribed to give me a chance that's awesome I mean it's still a very very small number but to me seeing one sub new subscriber makes me very very happy at this point so thank you why is it so hot in my room I guess we have to turn the air conditioner off because it makes too loud of a noise that the mic picks up that's why now, on to a topic that recent, that was in the last one, with my amiibo obsession. In the last one I was talking about going to go to Best Buy to get Dark Pit. And I only was there maybe 20 minutes before the doors open, and I was like, ninth in line? Yeah, I was ninth. Because this cute little boy that was up in front of me had my favorite number seven, so I, I remember that. I was ninth. But, so I mean, it wasn't like a big thing. Of course, I think I stated before, I live in a smaller town where like, not too many people are into video games and into these things like super hardcore. So, that could have been a reason why. A bunch of people showed up after I got there. A lot of them showed up right as the doors were opening but I still think they had enough I think if not there was only one or two people that didn't get one in store but then they ended up putting them online so I'm sure they still ended up getting one but I now have them I got mine and like I mentioned before I'm a out of box collector like I, I don't to me the boxes take up too much room though I do keep some of the boxes for the ones that seem to be more rare or the ones I like more and if I eventually move out I have something to pack them in that's a little bit safer than just wrapping them or something like that I don't know what I would do if I actually ever move because I have I'm starting to build up quite a few collections of many different things so I don't really know how I would pack things but I at least know that I have some of the boxes so they'll be safe the rarer ones and the more valuable ones and the more ones I like will have their boxes still so there's that and also with amiibo related topics there's amiibos coming out in September and October and November and probably December because Animal Crossing figure figures hasn't really have an official date other than holiday and Falco doesn't how oh, his it says is holiday the rest of them say like fall or October or November 
they say like before then. So don't know. But the one's coming out on September eleventh, which is like four days after my birthday, so it's like a birthday present to me. I'm like, woohoo! Amiibos! But at the same time, I don't know if I'm going to have birthday money to spend on them, so I'm like trying to save as much as I can. Because I'm definitely getting Mario Maker, and I'm definitely getting <laughs> all the Amiibos that I can. And I still haven't really got like where I'm going to go first. I'm still waiting. I know that Dr. Mario was officially stated as Target exclusive today. My father doesn't know how to use that oven. He had to call and ask. I barely know how to use an oven, but more than he does, so. <laughs> anyway, back to the emails. These little things that are taking out my money. <laughs> um, I, like I said, Dr. Mario was officially announced today as Mario exclusive. Wait, Mario? Target exclusive. Heads y'all out of the bus. But I know that Bowser Jr., I think it was, was also not on most of the stores that have the placeholders up online. So I'm having a feeling he's an exclusive and I don't know where and that's why I haven't really decided where I'm going to go. Like, I wish I knew which one was going to be slightly more rare. Because I would definitely go to that place first. I'm in some ways hoping maybe he's Amazon because I already had my Polytana but from what I heard Amazon did the exclusive really well and plus since if they do it then it would be later on in the day and it'd be online so it'd be so much easier for me just to go to Target get all of those and then done but as of right now I don't know if I'm just going to Target or not may end up being like Toys R Us or something. Though they, Toys R Us handled, handled their last big amiibo release very well, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, if I remember, I'm going to try to actually maybe take some videos on that day. And my friend possibly may be coming with me, so she'll probably be in the videos. I'm going to try to remember. Either way, even if she comes or not come, I'm gonna try to take a video, maybe. We'll see if I remember. I probably won't remember, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. So if anyone's like, huh, oh, I would like to see that, don't have your hopes up. Cause I forget very easily. <laughs> but I would like to do that, at least try to. So yeah. But I'm looking forward. I really want Zero Suit Salmus. Like, think out of all of them that's coming out in this next group she's the one I want the most which I think that's same for a lot of people and I haven't I've had chances to import them from like the UK or Japan and they're not really at bad prices right now but I've wasted well not I wouldn't say wasted because I enjoy these that are hobby but I have spent so much money on some of the other ones that I think I need to try to do my best in getting the US version at retail price before importing. And the ones that I'm probably the most likely to import if I can't wait any longer is going to be the Yoshis. The Yarn Yoshis because they're so adorable and I really want them. Really bad. <laughs> I have a Minecraft TV. I have a lot of little Minecraft things up here. Oh, well, strewn about everywhere. I'm really looking forward to Mewtwo. Like I, I want a for sure release date on Mewtwo. I was watching um, Amiibo News. I follow them on Twitter and I watch their newscast and stuff on YouTube. And I was watching the latest one and they mentioned that. I think it was for Australia and the UK that the release date is the 22nd or 23rd of October. And they're having a pretty strong feeling that it's going to be like 
worldwide release or something like that, and they think it's going to be coming out in the U.S. the same day. Same day. I hope so, because I really would like to have Mewtwo. I also really like to have Roy. I don't think as many people were excited for Roy coming back to Smash, but I was. I like Roy. He's one of my favorite characters from the Smash series. So I was excited to see him back and the fact that he's going to have an amiibo it made me even more excited and I really want it. And it's going to go like right back here. He's probably going to replace Ike. No offense, Ike. Well, I think I'm going to end this vlog here. If there's any suggestions of like what you would like to hear about like on a next vlog or questions you may have, put them in the comments. Now, I do sort of actually have a plan for one particular vlog, but I don't know when I'm going to put it up. I'm sort of waiting for a few more subscribers. Because I feel like if I do it too soon and it gets buried away and they don't see it, it's got some things about why I started the channel, what I plan to do with it, and all this stuff. And I'd rather it be with slightly more so that more people hear it. So that I'm waiting for. I don't know when I'll do that, but I do eventually, I do, I will eventually do that. So if you have questions like that, they're gonna come up, but not until I decide to do that. <laughs> but if there's like any other questions, like random questions, I don't care. You can ask me my favorite color, though I'm pretty sure I've stated it in one of my videos. And my Twitter is also down there, like I keep forgetting to state that in every single one of my videos, that my Twitter is down there. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, I don't really post too much right now. I'm starting to post more. It's mainly my videos posting on there, but I do write things on there every once in a while. So if you would like, definitely, that's down there. But for now, I'm gonna end this vlog here. So bye bye. Bye bye. I'm weird. I'm okay with it. All my friends are weird. None of us are normal. Yay for not normal! <laughs>